in Fox Health this morning. I'm joined today by Tanisha Primus with Susan G. Komen, Louisiana, to tell you all about this year's Race for the Cure. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. And we're just a month away now, mm -hmm. so you guys must be feeling pretty excited. We are. Um, we're gearing up, trying to get the last minute preparations for everything. Now, I'm going to be there as one of the MCs, so you got to come out and join us all. What do we have going on this year? Of course, we have the area for our survivors. Um, without them, we wouldn't be doing this, so we'll have the area to honor and celebrate them. We'll also have the kids area, we'll have our sponsors and our Team 10 area, and then we'll have a little area for the pooches um, for the runners who want to bring their dogs with them. I love this so much because, of course, you can come out, have a great run for a, an amazing cause, but you can make it like a family-friendly event, bring your dog, bring the kids, mm -hmm. and, and, and having, getting to celebrate uh, those who, uh, the survivors, it's just amazing. Yes, of course. Now, how important uh, is this fundraising event? This is one of our largest fundraising events. Um, up to 75% of the funds stay here locally. Um, it helps with the screening, diagnostic, educational, financial, and support services to the men and women, women to the men and women in our community. And it's so important, as you all know, for this disease, uh, early, early catching it early. Mm -hmm. Screenings can save lives. Yes, one in eight. Early detection is key. Yes, yes. Now, um, how does it feel to be a part of something like this? I have to say I got to be, um, you guys might remember last year, I was part of the Dancing for the Cure. Mm -hmm. And meeting the survivors, it just was the most amazing feeling to be raising money for for this cause. Yes, it puts things into perspective for you, hearing their stories, their survivorships, the co-survivors, and just the things that they have to endure during this time. And knowing that we can be a place of uh, a resource for them is it's above me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Now, you can register right now. Yeah. For the, for the race. Yeah, visit ColemanLouisiana.org slash NWLA Race for the Cure. And we're also going to have the information for you on our website, ArclitexHomePage.com. We're back at Mall St. Vincent this year for the race. Mm -hmm. And again, there's just so many activities going on. Plus, you can get a good walk or run in for an amazing cause. So make sure you're checking our website, ArchitectsHomePage.com, after the show. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you. And stay tuned, everybody, because Josh is back with a quick check of your forecast next.